In South Africa, they came in their thousands, foreign tourists and local residents armed with powerful zoom lenses and special protective glasses for seeing the eclipse. It's one of nature's greatest spectacles. Viewers clamored for position under an overcast sky to see the moon cross over the path of the sun, bringing darkness for about a minute and a half. Some despaired at the cloud cover that blocked the view of totality, the moment the glow of the completely covered sun radiates from behind the moon. The path of totality crossed Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, South Africa and Mozambique, before it headed across the Indian Ocean towards southern Australia, where visibility was predicted to be most clear. Thousands of tourists, scientists and astronomers from around the world also descended on a small fishing village in South Australia to view a total solar eclipse just before sunset. The village of Kaduna was one of the few populated spots in the world where the full eclipse could be seen. Most hotels and campsites in the area have been booked out two years in advance for the event. The eclipse reached the point of totality for a fleeting 32 seconds. The incandescent glow of the sun's corona was met by a chorus of cheers from spectators.